Imagine a prison that floats. Not a prison ship like in the 19th century, but a modern high-tech facility anchored offshore, holding up to 800 inmates. This may sound like an outlandish idea, but for landscare Singapore, it's the future of incarceration. On July 26, 2023, the nation awarded a contract for the world's first floating prison, set to be completed by 2028. But, what makes this prison unique and why is Singapore taking this big leap? Anchored off the coast of Pulau Brani, a small island south of the city, the prison will be a 15-story, 250-meter-long structure made of concrete and steel. It may look like a traditional facility, but inside it's a radical departure from conventional prisons. The floating prison will leverage cutting-edge technology to enhance security, efficiency, and most importantly, rehabilitation. Let's dive into three key innovations. No one AI and robotics. The prison will heavily rely on artificial intelligence and robotics to reduce human error and maintain tight security. AI-powered surveillance cameras will monitor inmates, while biometric controls will regulate access to different areas. Robotic guards will patrol the facility, collecting waste and maintaining order. This technological integration aims to create a safer environment for both inmates and prison staff. Number 2. Virtual Geofencing Forget prison bars. This prison will use virtual geofencing to contain inmates. This means that, instead of physical barriers, inmates will be confined to a digital boundary. They'll wear electronic bracelets that emit a signal, allowing them to move within the prison. But if they cross the virtual boundary, alarms will sound and alert the robotic guards. This innovation could potentially improve inmate mobility, while still ensuring they are securely contained. No. 3. Rehabilitation Focus The floating prison will offer vocational training and education programs to inmates, equipping them with skills they need to reintegrate into society after their release. This focus on rehabilitation is key to reducing recidivism, which is the tendency of a person to commit crimes again after being released from prison. By providing inmates with the tools and skills to succeed, Singapore hopes to lower the rate of repeat offenders. Now you might be wondering why is Singapore building this floating prison? Well, for a country that has invested heavily in technology and innovation, it's no surprise that they're pushing the boundaries of what's possible, even in the field of incarceration. With limited land, expanding offshore makes sense. Singapore has already embraced offshore solutions for other infrastructure projects. They've built floating solar farms and large storage facilities on reclaimed land. This floating prison is just an extension of that pragmatic approach. However, it's not without its challenges. Building and maintaining a high-tech prison will require significant investment. And as with any innovative project, there are potential risks. Human rights groups may scrutinize the prison's offshore detention, citing concerns about isolation and limited access for families and lawyers. Additionally, the floating prison's success may be difficult to replicate, especially for countries without Singapore's maritime capabilities and technological expertise. Despite these challenges, Singapore's floating prison could become a model for other coastal nations. Just as the city-state has influenced global urban planning with its sustainable and innovative approach to housing and transportation, so what do you think? Would you support a floating prison in your country? Let us know in the comments.